Hey guys, what is going on? Hamish here. Welcome back to my channel. This is a requested video from someone who commented on my video yesterday on how to use Ahrefs to do keyword research for Jarvis. So my setup is Ahrefs, uh, the blog that I'm working on. Let's open a fresh document and let's also open Jarvis, which has an amazing desktop app, which is really, really cool. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to start by looking at the keyword. Oh, we also need a Google. Okay, so what is the keyword here? Let's say it's uh, trusting your intuition in business. So we Google that. And we there we go. Exactly what I'm looking for. The word intuition is actually replaced with gut, which in my opinion, um, we will check this now. Um this will have more searches per month. So if you do not have a paid Ahrefs subscription, which I do have because I work for a business and they pay for it, but let's say you don't, you can use this here. So how did I get here? I just, I literally just went on Google. This is an incognito window. The reason you want to use an incognito window is because you might already have an Ahrefs account, in which case it will tell you that you have to, um, sign in or uh, you know get a uh, what's it called subscription but if you use um, incognito we are now here we can close this it's in Italian I live in Italy if you're not aware that's why it's in Italian so uh, let's just search for intuition in business in the United States I am not a robot so as you can see it only has 20 per month so if I go back on the original article and I type in the word gut so the word gut does not appear. So how do you trust your gut in business? So let's replace intuition with the word gut. Trova le, le parole chiave. And it actually has less, or according to this, it has less. But, but, the important thing is you should add these keywords as a bare minimum to the article. So I'm going to open a notepad. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to open a Google document because notepad doesn't copy properly so let's go to Google Sheets let's go to blank let's copy it into here which should put it in columns and then we'll copy this and we'll put that on a notepad there we go perfect okay let's keep looking um, I think another thing would be yourself trust yourself uh, so let's replace gut with yourself we always want to go for the United States if we were concentrating Introduce yourself in business meeting, branding yourself in business. Hmm. Let's see if the word trust appears. Not trusting anyone but yourself in business. That's, a, that's an interesting one. We can add that to the bottom of the article. So uh, we could say, like, what does not trusting yourself in business mean? So this would be an answer target. And let me show you what exactly an answer target is if I go on let's go on um, Google here okay so this does not have uh, an answer target but normally there would be a uh, what is known as a snippet uh, this is effectively the snippet uh, it's not the snippet but it kind of is at the same time um, why should you trust people in business what does it mean if you don't trust anyone Okay, so we've got uh, trust your gut. Let's see if we can find anything else. Only using um, only using the free keyword generator. So we're back on the article. Intuition in business. So what about just into? How do you spell intuition? Let's copy it. Intuition. Trova chiavi parole. Okay, so let's type in business. Um, entrepreneur. No. So you would normally just look here and see if there's anything. So in applied intuition, this is probably the closest thing that I've found so far that is close. Is this to do with business? It's not. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh, applied intuition is a company. Okay, never mind. Um, so you would look to see if there's anything with higher search volumes. Trust your intuition. Women's intuition. The best leaders rely on their intuition. That's an interesting one. 
that's definitely you could see that, that was to do with business yes businessinsider.com honestly guys this is why i love seo you can kind of just tell so this is a featured snippet this is exactly what i'm talking about and if you look here 24th of december 2019 if you write something that answers uh this question then you have a chance of taking this snippet with some fresh content so leaders are able to do we would just copy that put it there and then we would then use jarvis later to edit it to make it different maybe try and answer the question in a different way how to tap into your intuition is this to do with business the best way to check if something is relevant is by googling it always always google it okay because google knows google's what you're writing for at the end of the day if you're not focusing on Google, you're doing SEO wrong. Honestly, if you're only looking at this, you're doing it completely wrong. How to develop your intuition. Hmm. Okay. Um, as you can see, we've found follow your intuition. This I don't think this will be to do with business. The same article has come up for two interesting keywords. How to tap into your intuition and following your intuition. What is this? Hey Sigmund, it seems like some kind of psychology blog. So the problem with this, right, is that this is a psychology blog. So it's going to be hard to outrank this. I'm not saying it's impossible, though. Uh, that's interesting. They've got a mistake. I don't know what they're doing there. Someone should message them and offer, offer them SEO work. Okay, uh, I think these two would actually be pretty good. So following your intuition, this is two really, really nice things to add to the article to beef it up even more. So following your intuition and how to tap into your intuition. So we'll go with those. They've got nice searches per month. We can definitely grab some traffic. Uh, listen to your intuition business. What is our intuition in business? Should you trust your gut, gut, gut? What does it mean to listen to your intuition? What is intuition example? Is there room for intuition in business? So we're going to stick this one on as well. Okay, so I don't do it like this. Um, I'm just doing it how I would suggest that you guys do it. I would create this. I, I do it on the fly. Like as I'm creating the article, I do the research. But as you can see, we have found some really interesting keywords that we can then add to the article. So let's reopen the article. Okay, it's already really, really long, which is good, actually. Oops. It's already, I would approximate, a thousand words. Let's put it in Jarvis and see how many words it actually is. New, start from scratch. I'm going to say a thousand words. 1,617 words already. Wow. Okay, so this is um, this is something where I'll have to be careful. I don't want to make it too long. I think one of the important things is to kind of space it out a little bit as well. Let's see if this article is already ranking because it is quite long. So I would expect it to have some kind of rank already. Inspect any URL, no performance. A new page and we just copy that in um, interesting it doesn't it's not really hitting any targets I'm surprised by that maybe it's because it's new when uh, when did it start ranking all of this it's not even that new no it's, it's really not that new Okay, it, it grew a little bit there, and then it just dropped again. Okay, so ideally we would want it to be like all the way up here, honestly. I think that's doable. Okay, so this is actually going to take a little bit longer than usual. So I'll just give you a few examples of what I'm going to be doing. Intuition and gut in business. What is intuition? What is intuition in business? 
How do you know when you're in alignment? Uh, with Okay, a good thing as well is the space because people don't want to people don't want to read like these huge paragraphs. It's okay sometimes, but like for example, if this is like a really good way to just split it where the questions are and you can put them in italics. It just makes it a bit more interesting to read basically. It's in those quieter moments that we connect with our higher self and <clears throat> we are one with our intuition. Diving deeper into your intuition. This is already a really, really long article. It's kind of hard to add to this because it's already so long. Hmm. Is listening to your intuition the same as listening to your gut? Uh, write about how listening to your gut and your intuition is the same thing. Give five points about it. Okay, let's just see what Jarvis comes out with after I have just uh, told him what to do. But there is no difference. Wait, aren't they the same thing? I swear listening to your gut and listening... Is listening to your gut the same as... They mean the same thing, right? I'm like... Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, so something you might be worried about is uh, duplicate content. And you might say that I'm copying this person, but I'm not. I'm using them as a brief to write this. Because it's listening to your gut means the same thing. Okay, so the, the, this is a kind of, it's not the best example because it's already so long. I didn't realize it was, I should have checked first. But you can see anyway how I found the keywords and then it would just be putting them into the article like I am now. Um... Yeah, the problem is it's a little bit, uh, it's already too long, basically. I'm going to use this, though. I think this is a really, really good keyword. Oops. So, uh, what does mean? Okay, so we copy that into the title, and then we can copy this, which we copied from the internet earlier, over to here, and then we can just hopefully say this. Um, the best leaders rely on intuition means, and then let's hope that it creates something good. We are our biggest critics and we often second guess our gut or intuition it's important to be able to trust yourself and then control J don't let fear of failure stop you you from progressing and don't let a lack of self-trust um, in that your gut feelings stop you from being where you want to be okay as I said this is quite a difficult one because it's so long already uh, how to tap into your intuition do we have that anywhere uh, tap tapping in okay so I'm just gonna change this to how to tap into your to live it to your to help 
your business reach its full potential. Okay, so this is a much stronger um, keyword kind of uh, grab than what was written before. This comes directly from her podcast, so that's why it's not really laid out in an SEO friendly way. I'm going to stick some enters here and I'm going to change. Oops. We know that it's going to do something. I need to wait. I didn't mean to do that. I wish there was a cancel button. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Um, some of the most important questions you have to ask yourself in order to tap into your full potential your full potential by trusting your intuition oh. um, do I fully understand the topic hand okay that's actually a really good point am I listening to my intuition or my ego that's a really good job Jarvis Uh, I'm going to delete that one and see what comes up with. Okay, let's put some enters here. And here. Don't write like this, guys. This is just directly from a transcript, so it's fine. But don't write, don't write like these big paragraphs. People don't, people don't want it. You don't go on this web page and you and look at that and just read it all. You skim. People skim. They look for pictures. They look for, you know, bold and uh, things like this. It's important. Don't don't write big long paragraphs. People don't read them. You, you learn more and more that people kind of get used, they're, they're kind of used to reading these like really short paragraphs these days. So it's good to just put some spacing in. You can disagree with me, you can say that it's difficult to read or whatever, but the majority of people, they, they prefer reading things like this. Especially when there's a question, it's pretty good idea to put some enter, some spaces in there. Um, <clears throat> Okay, uh, I think I've added pretty much everything. Is there room for intuition in business? I do kind of like that keyword. So let's see if we can stick it into an H2. How to tap in your... Da, da, da. This, this is too long. Okay, so let's add this here. It makes sense. Is there a room for A lot of sex women in the back. Not sure as much. Yeah, that's perfect. Really, really happy with the result. We've also we've increased the words by about 400, which isn't too much, but we've added a lot of keywords. So yeah, I really, really hope this helps the guy who uh, asked me yesterday how to use Ahrefs for keyword research. I gave you the free version. So you don't even have to pay for anything. You can use the paid version if you want, but if you kind of know what you're doing and you know how to find keywords on Google, it's not really necessary to pay, I think, $120 a month, which is pretty insane. This tool is really, really good. You can just use the base keyword, like intuition, or let's just do this, see if we can find any more just while I'm explaining and doing an outro. Gut feeling, and then we can type in uh, business. No. So you would do this as well. Trust your gut feeling. Quotes. Maybe we could add some quotes, etc., uh, etc. Et guys. Yeah. Anyway, I hope this helps you out, and I'll see you really, really soon with some more content. Peace out for now.